I just snapped it. Oh my. G'day scientists. Today we're going to build the National Geographic Da Vinci's Catapult. You may remember I have not had much luck with these National Geographic kits. Most of them have been awful. Let's see if this one's any different. Right, let's open up and take a look. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, that's it? Oh, I've got a really bad feeling about this, just like the other National Geographic kits we're paying for the brand. We've got one wooden press out kit. And <laughs> if that's a piece of sandpaper, we've got to sand our own pieces down. I'll be super disappointed. Uh, we've got some other wooden parts here. The instruction book and some targets. Okay, let's look inside the book. Normally these books have been quite bad. I'll be honest, they didn't have much in there. They didn't have much content. It was mostly about assembling it. And at the back, I think in a number of the books, I had a pile of pages where you just take notes and no con. So it's nice thick paper, but nothing in it. Let's see if they've got that notes bit. Ah, they don't have the notes bit at the back. Actually, this has got quite a lot of information in it. Wood glue not included, recommended, but not required. Well, I don't have wood glue. We're gonna try and make it without the wood glue, just like you would at home. First of all, we have to press out all the pieces from this kit. Let's take it out of the plastic wrap and start doing it. This is a piece of sandpaper, just like I thought. This is laser cut, I can see that. And in terms of the quality of the laser cut, it's really good. Not only are the pieces quite fine, but we've also got some engraving on too. Already though, I'm struggling. Right, we're gonna try without glue. I'm really expecting this to be a disaster. As I'm twisting these out, some of these are fracturing. It's causing little tiny splinters, which so far have not hurt me. All of the pieces are now out. The first step is to take this piece here, and it's saying <laughs> use glue. I'm not going to use glue. No way. We're taking this, this piece here. Well, they're actually pretty solid, and they click together. You don't really need glue, I don't think. Let's see. Well, they said it's glue's optional. I just snapped that off. Okay, let's hope it's not required. It feels fairly sturdy still. On this piece, we're taking this weird shaped one and chucking it in here and then putting this face down. <gasps> I just snapped it. Oh my. How have I done that? Well, it's gone through, but it's now snapped. Oh, I'm so annoyed with this. And then what am I attaching this on the back here like that? Oh dear, I just hope this works. I've got a horrible feeling. Still in the rubber bands. Okay, wrap one band around the newly created piece as shown. What does that mean? Like over and over again. So one, so that's two, and then three. Okay, well, I'm, I'm, no more glue. I'm not doing glue, I told you. No glue. This is going in here. Oh my goodness. Ugh. There is no need for glue. These are super stiff. Okay, well that's in. Right, next, we've got these pieces here. Now all of a sudden, we've gone from just put that into that too. Boom, 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 boom. Do it all. <sighs> okay, that says it goes through there. Very stiff, it is going through though. Okay, it's through. And then, then we've got this large piece here that is slotting into the bottom. No, I think slotting <laughs> is the wrong word. Slotting is the wrong word to use. It's gonna be forced into the bottom. Okay, well, it's kind of in. And then this goes on the other side to complete. I think if, <laughs> if you're doing a science kit and you're grunting, it's not, not a good sign. Well, it's together, it's together. Then we're taking another one of these round bits. Are these supposed to be the wheels? Because these, be <laughs> the, these are the wheels. These will be the stiffest wheels in history. Tell you what, Da Vinci wouldn't have got very far on these wheels. <laughs> oh, they're not wheels, guys, it's okay. <laughs> this into here. Uh oh, <laughs> I've done something wrong. <laughs> Don't act surprised everyone. It looks like this should have been on the top with these. Right, now let's put that back through there. It's going in there like that, like that, and then this goes through here, and then we can put these on as wheels. I reckon these might turn a bit better now because they're in a looser hole. Ah, oh, that's better my man. Da Vinci is now gonna be moving. And then we're installing the rubber bands. We are taking this rubber band and we're looping one band over the pegs on either side of the frame and pulling it behind the lawn. This makes more sense now, okay. And then that goes underneath there, like that. And then 
back up over there like that. Done. Ooh. Then take another band, hook one rubber band onto the front notch and then onto the trigger. Okay, front notch is here, got it. Then these are the firing bits, got it. Okay, so these being a bit rough doesn't matter as much. When they are assembled together, they look a bit like that. I guess I should have maybe been a bit less critical because they did give us sandpaper. It's hurting my fingers. I'm a gentle scientist, so this is hurting my fingers putting these together. Definitely more of a scientist than an engineer. But all that glue it said we needed, it looks like we didn't need. And so far, it looks like even though I've snapped a few pieces, it hasn't made much difference. We're ready to fire. Let's load it in, release the trigger. Whoa, whoa, that was fast. Let's try again. Ah, and I love the way that reloads. Here we go. Whoa, pretty cool. <laughs> Fire! Like all the National Geographic kits, it um, was quite annoying to assemble. The box was pretty empty, the instructions were poor, there were splinters on it. It needed glue, it said, and then it didn't need glue, and then I snapped a piece, but it still worked anyway. Not a great experience. The book, better than usual. There was lots of stuff in there, learning about Leonardo da Vinci and catapults and the conservation of energy. Was it fun? It was. It fires so well, it's hard not to smile while you're using it. I'm gonna give the National Geographic Da Vinci Catapult three stars for fun. One star for price and two stars for learning. Bye or bye bye. <laughs> it's a bye. Just the fun you get from firing these little balls surpasses the annoyance from the splinters, the poor instructions, and the flimsy parts. National Geographic, not bad, but could be better. If you enjoyed this kit, I've got another wooden shooter kit I think you're gonna love from KiwiCo. Check this video out.